But there is a problem. There's a big problem, by the way, facing the Republican party. And that problem happens to be that the largest voting block in the United States, millennials and generation Z voters absolutely despise the Republican party. New data has come out from the 2022 election that tells us that 77% of generation Z voters said they voted for a democratic candidate for Congress last year versus only 21% who said they voted for a Republican. So we've got a 77 to 21% split between generation Z voters alone. And of course, millennials, maybe not that extreme, but still overwhelmingly vote for Democrats. Those two blocks combined now make up the largest voting block in the United States, outnumbering the baby boomers, which happens to be the largest voting block for the Republicans. Republicans also have the added, I don't want to call it tragedy, but I guess it is a tragedy of the fact that they let a lot of their followers and supporters die during the pandemic. They were out there trashing vaccines. They were out there telling people, ah, you don't have to wear a mask. That's oppression. And they saw a lot of their voters, a lot of their supporters, a lot of their core base die off because of that. And I think by the way, that is a statistic. It's a grim statistic, but that's something that most people completely ignored during the 2022 midterms. I mean, I talked about it a lot because study after study after study showed us that the COVID death rates in red areas of the country, red counties were exponentially higher than in blue counties. That may be one of the reasons why Republicans who a year ago were predicting a 70 seat pickup in the house only have a couple seats in their majority. I think that's something that needs to be taken into consideration, especially since we still have people dying in this country of COVID and those deaths are the overwhelmingly unvaccinated part of the population. So Republicans have a problem with their voting block because they're still letting them die off. And then they got a problem with the young voters who want nothing to do with the Republican party. And the reason of course, is because young voters, the millennials and the generation Z voters overwhelmingly support action on gun control. They overwhelmingly support taking action on the issue of climate change. They overwhelmingly support LGBTQ issues. They support access to abortion. They support all of the things that Republicans have openly declared war on here in the United States. And what's funny is that the Republicans have obviously, you know, acknowledged this, but here is what Ronna McDaniel, the chair of the Republican national committee had to say. When we do, when we do that and we talk about economic opportunity, the things our party stands for, we'll win those voters over. We just have to compete for them. See, here's the problem with your plan, Rana. First of all, it's, it's completely wrong anyway. Second of all, you don't have a plan to pitch to these voters. You don't have a plan to pitch to any voters right now. The only plans we're hearing about from the Republican party are let's raise the retirement age for the young people. Let's make them just keep working and working and working and working. And Nikki Haley has that plan. She's, she's said that in a speech recently, Republicans in Congress suggested it. Like, let's just raise the retirement age. You think that generation that has known nothing but hardship and wars based on lies and pandemics throughout their whole lives, you think they want to hear that? But beyond that, what is your plan? What is your economic plan? Republicans? Can anyone watching this? Tell me what a Republican economic plan is and tell me who is pushing it and what it would do for the country. Anyone? The answer is no, you can't because such a thing doesn't exist. I am 40 years old throughout my lifetime. Republicans have had one plan other than outside of culture war stuff. I'm talking about one actual legislative plan. My entire life, that one plan has been to cut taxes. It's been trickle down economics my entire life. Every time Republicans get power, the first thing they want to do is cut taxes. We've already seen the Republican uh, majority in the house of representatives propose cutting taxes again, extending the Trump tax cuts. 
It doesn't work. And this generation knows it. This generation isn't afraid to call it out. They're not buying into those lies of Reaganomics and they're angry. And as long as Republicans continue to push that, they will never attract these younger generations. We have to take a quick break. I'm Farron Cousins. Again, you can subscribe to my YouTube channels at youtube.com slash the ring of fire and youtube.com slash fair and balanced. And I'm on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at fair and balanced. We'll be right back with more on the David Pakman show.